Hello right bags, it's Jade, welcome to the special access show today, taking a look at some game release dates for stuff that I've been covering over the last year or so, different games that I'm interested in and I know you guys will probably be interested in too if you like survival or RPG as well as maybe a bit of shooter action. So don't forget to like if you find it useful, come join my Discord to keep up to date with everything to do with gaming news and look out for the future on a big video talking about all the survival games still to come to console in the next six months. We are going to be taking a look at Hunt Showdown, Green Hell, a survival game, as well as Greedfall, a brand new RPG open world game. Also, MMO, Black Desert Online, and They Are Billions, a real-time strategy horde game. So it's all here, let's go. So I've been showing you Hunt Showdown on Xbox. It just went into the game preview program only a month or so ago. And previously, developers have not really commented about what's happening with other platforms repeatedly being asked in interviews and just saying that they're releasing it only for PC and Xbox. Well, that's changed pretty quickly. They've now announced a full release date of Hunt Showdown as August the 20th, and that's gonna be on PC and Xbox, and it will be coming to the PS4 some point this fall. Does look like the Xbox it has got an exclusivity for six months, and then it is gonna be coming to the PlayStation. What is Hunt Showdown? It is a PvE, PvP style game. You can play it solo or duos, running around a supernatural themed map, trying to take on bosses, and also avoid other players. When you die, that is it, you die. You lose all of your items, all of your goods, and any abilities you've unlocked for that one particular character. There is overall progression. You do unlock certain things that can be spread across all your hunters, but death is death, that hunter particularly. It's pretty good, I really like it, it's pretty intense. It does need more work specifically for the Xbox where the aim and acceleration using the joystick, it just isn't there just yet. But otherwise, the looks of it is great. It's made by the same people that made the Cry Engine as well as obviously the Crytek games. And it has been in early access on Steam for around 18 months. Throughout that time, they've maintained a steady player base. It's got a few different game modes as well. There's a much more arcadey or faster paced style game mode where you just simply have to hunt other players or try and get to the end by escaping through wells of darkness. But it isn't necessarily strictly a battle royale. It does have some elements of that and Last Man Standing, but it is more about completing your hunt and maybe getting points so that you get ranking up quicker whatever levels you are so you can unlock new items, new abilities and new weapons. It's going to be around $40 when it launches and they've said they're committed to bringing a physical copy release of it which will be actually the same price. So August 20th, full release for Hunt Showdown, great game, absolutely loving, enjoying playing it when I've played it on the Xbox, really tense and it will be coming to the PlayStation 4 at some point this winter. For the 1.0 update, they're increasing the prestige from 50 to 100, they're adding female character hunters that you can choose, as well as a whole host of brand new legendary weapons that you can earn, new weapon variants, new tools, new traits, new leaderboards, improvement spectator mode, and they've got improvements to some of the bosses, including the spider boss. They're also adding extra legendary hunter classes too, and they're just doing a whole host of stuff, improving the map, the spawn improvements, etc. Book of Weapons, you'll be able to see all weapons, give you a bit of information about what's going on. Obviously achievements as well, and full controller support for PC. After 1.0, they're looking to add more character customization, dual wielding, and a hardcore mode. They're also going to be adding a shooting range so you can test your shooting, and expect to see even more weapons and tools and stuff being added to it, as well as crafting in the future. Hunt isn't that real fast paced nature of a battle royale, sometimes you'll go through a whole map without coming across anyone, it's definitely more deliberate, a little bit slower. There's lots of NPC enemies running around the map, to get a real full flavour of the game make sure you check out my videos, I'll leave the link for them in the chat and the description box, go and check them out, the gameplay on console to see what it's like, it's a pretty good smooth experience. This is a port that's been done right and they've taken their time with it and it's really not that far behind PC and they seem to be updating it pretty substantially too. So the minute I get a more concrete date releasing on the PlayStation, I'll let you guys know. Greedfall also got a brand new announcement date yesterday. Previously, Focus Interactive, the publishers, have said it was going to be coming out in September, but we didn't actually have a date. Well, that's changed now as we've got the story trailer from E3. They've also listed a proper date of 10th September for PS4, Xbox One, and the PC. Right now, it's around £44 on Steam, so I expect it to be 49 full price game on Xbox and PlayStation. It is an RPG. Imagine a Assassin's Creed game where you're going off to a new land 
but it's got much more supernatural enemies and creatures roaming around. You're all after a cure to a plague-like illness, and so you'll be battling against other factions, other people. It isn't a multiplayer game, and that's something they've kind of confirmed now. The graphics look great from everything I'm seeing. The gameplay looks pretty tight as well. They get the nice blend of mixing stuff up, open world exploration, and the missions not being too boring or repetitive. I can see Greedfall being a real big hit. You can complete missions in all different ways, going straight for the combat route or taking part in diplomacy. There's going to be branching narratives and how you play the game does affect the world around you. Lots of monsters, lots of creatures. I really like that mix of Assassin's Creed and maybe a little bit of Witcher too. So expect more information about Greedfall as it starts coming up to release. I'm going to work hard to see if I can get a review key copy for it early. And even if not, I think I will take a look at this game, even if it isn't strictly a survival or necessarily what sort of game I would normally see on my channel. I have shown this off though, this was meant to have come out last year I do believe, or certainly that's when it was brought to my attention. So, Greedfall coming out very soon. If you're a big fan of MMOs, Korean Black Desert Online finally comes to the PlayStation stores on August the 22nd. It's been available on Xbox for a while now. This is a non-subscription based MMO with lots of grind. There have been accusations of pay to win in the past because you can buy classes and characters and they can be quite expensive. The base game is around £30 with lots of versions having deluxe versions as well. So if you really love MMOs, this could be good because of the way it looks. It does look like a fantastic game. I have played this on Xbox I found the controls to be a little bit too fiddly it does seem like they've fitted in a lot obviously from the keyboard into the control scheme and I don't know if it necessarily simplified it enough but you guys let me know what you think about Black Desert Online definitely one of them games you've got to put hundreds of hours to get the most out of it but a really good looking MMO and there aren't that many of them on the current console system so are you going to be trying Black Desert Online let me know in the comment section down below releasing on PlayStation on 22nd of August. If you like RTS games or strategy games, then They Are Billions may fill your void. On console, this is coming to Xbox and PlayStation. It's been on Steam early access the last two years. Big hit, got loads of great reviews. You're basically defending your town, your cities against the zombie horde invasions. Building up resources, collecting, making and manufacturing, as well as building up your armies to defend against not just hundreds, not just thousands, but millions, possibly even billions of zombies. It is a pretty fun game. I've been desperate to play this on console. I have had it on the PC for a while. I can't wait to give this one a go. It's out on Xbox on the 4th of July. And I do believe it's coming to the PlayStation Store maybe within a week or so after the Xbox release. It's just gone out of early access on Steam. It's got campaign mode, lots of different variety modes, and they've even got some extra campaigns they've just added as well. So, RTS strategy, thousands, millions, billions of zombies, go and grab this one. You'll be seeing this gameplay on my channel later on today. I will be checking out the Xbox One version of this game. It's around £20, I do believe, on the Xbox Store, or $25. Let me know if this is your sort of thing. And lastly, we've got Green Hell. Now, I've played this a few times. It's been out in early access for just over a year now, and it is going to be coming full release very, very soon. But not only for PC, it will be appearing on other systems. Right now, they've actually officially announced Nintendo Switch. It's coming at September the 5th, 1.0 launch on PC. This is a much more traditional survival game. Currently right now it's got lots of content in it as well as areas, maps, creatures and NPC humans to fight against and they are looking at adding co-op support later on. That looks like that's going to be coming with the full release of the game. Their new recent update just added mud fortifications and building as well as foraging more for items. Now this actually came out in April, news that it would be coming to Nintendo Switch and this looks like this is an actual screenshot from the port that's taking place right now. So coming out on September the 5th, full 1.0 launch. Green Hell is a typical survival game, running around, worrying about diseases, how your body reacts to the environment. There's also a psychological aspect as well, where you'll be also going through a single player story mode too. But you can see in the roadmap right now, free DLC is going to be added to the game after release, adding the co-op. Green Hell has had a solid little early access period. Good, consistent, big updates, adding loads of Q features over the last year. Now, there's no word about an Xbox or a PS4 Switch as yet, and hopefully appearing on Xbox and PlayStation a little bit sooner too. They've listed it as $20. Now, I think that's going to be just for the Steam version. 
Nintendo Switch does take a little bit more money being on their storefront. No final release date has been given for the Nintendo Switch version other than quarter four 2019. So that is looking likely between sort of September and December time. Green Hell is a pretty complicated survival game, very similar to something like The Forest, with a little bit of mixture of something like Subnautica. Just the way that you explore and you've got story beats to it. Really interesting seeing how this has performed and how it's grown since I last played it a good few months ago. Let me know in the comment section what one you're looking forward to the most. As ever, keep in up to date with interesting survival games, open world games and RPGs. Make sure you've got my channel locked on. And also keep tuned for any more news about some of the other big survival games that I'm covering. Until next time, Ratbags, laters.